see. Big long build up and the snowstorm just walking, intense shots, and then after all of that, Alpha Gettys. What? You, you know, the Granite Core video, the, the one Mark came up with. Were you listening? Oh, um, uh, I don't know, man. I had a rough night last night. What are you doing, bud? What are you up to, bud? What's going on there, bud? Um, what, the, what was I doing? Doesn't matter, Buckaroo, because I got something new for you, and you're not gonna see the iCarly Wii game, isn't it? Yeah. No, I told you, I don't want to do it. Yeah, but it's April Fools. I mean, games in my hand. We're doing it. We're playing it. We're reviewing it. Okay, who's responsible for this? Oh, Blitz Games. Always nice running into a familiar face. Uh, Blitz Games was one of those studios that would be contracted to do a lot of licensed games uh, back in the 2000s. They're also the same studio behind Glover, uh, back when they were known as Interactive Studios before they changed the name in 2000. Oh, they also worked on Pac-Man World 3, which is fairly underrated in my humble opinion. A bit too much focus on pretty boring combat, but I love the world design in that game, and the dialogue's pretty great too. I don't want to be doomed. I just want to go home. They also did Swampy's Revenge, totally solid Frogger game, uh, Zapper, a more original take in the Frogger formula, and of course, many, many licensed games. Towards the end of the studio's lifespan, they would shift to mobile stuff instead, which I guess makes sense. Apps are cheaper to make and more accessible to a consumer market, which I guess would make it a better choice for supplementary media these days. But back before everybody had one of these guys in their pockets, they were hired by tons and tons of companies to produce licensed video games for all major platforms, including Hi Carly for the Wii. So first you're telling me that the people that made Dead by Daylight also worked on the Drake and Josh games, and now you're telling me that the people that made Glover made this thing? Well, not exactly. So it is the same studio, but it's much later, and you know, with like game companies, over the years people come and go and work on different things. So how many people from Glover worked on this? Um, I cross-referenced the credits and I found two names, so I can confirm that in some capacity, two people that worked on Glover did help bring the iCarly game on Wii to life. Alrighty then. Well, 
let's check out this masterpiece. Well, uh, let's just hope it's nowhere near as bad as that Cory in the House game was. Shh, 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 James, don't. You'll summon a thousand internet comedians again, and they'll go, Hey, you see, you funny, you Cory and me. Okay, I Carly for the Wii. Now's probably a good time to mention, I don't know anything about this show. I Like, hey, ask me anything about Teen Titans or Metabots and I'm gonna spew nonstop, but I Carly, I don't know, man. It started airing right before I kinda drifted away from watching TV. I know it's got Miranda Cosgrove, who previously starred alongside Drake and Josh as their little sister Megan, and I guess she went on to star in a show of her own right after. Dude, literally the only thing I know about this show is, What's Brady thinking about? Brady, what the what the hell is that? Trust me, they'll get it. Uh, okay, I'll take your word for it. Uh, yeah, the show followed a group of friends that produced a web show. I guess making the show pretty ahead of its time for 2007. This is something a lot of people ended up doing later down the road, myself included. I can't speak for how accurately it represents web content, being so unfamiliar with the show, but it is really interesting seeing a show explore that sort of idea so long before it really took off in the way we see now. Man, web content back in my day was more like, you go to the dude's website to see his stuff, you know, back when it wasn't all just on YouTube. If I wanted funny clay videos, I had to go on to Knox'sCorner.com. Back in like 2002 or 3, when I was a little kid browsing the internet for the first time, you had to do a lot of poking around to find stuff. iCarly seems to take place during the tail end of that period. The final years of hosting videos on a variety of sites still being fairly common. 2007, the era of screw attack, game trailers, and the Wii. Good lord, let's see what this thing even is. What do you even do for an iCarly video game? Well, uh, the menus look nice, everything's pretty clean, it does a pretty good job of getting that web show vibe, and they do a solid job recreating the set from the show, too. I like that panning shot, it makes the menu feel a little bit more lively. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, I cannot say the same for the characters, though! Good lord, are they ugly! And they use these, like, weird 2D-ish rigs, grossly modeled after the cast of the show. And the resemblance is there, I guess, but god, are these things hard in the eyes. The ones from the Drake and Josh games barely look like Drake and Josh, but at least the art style wasn't this bad. I think what really kills it for me is the movement. Uh, the way their limbs all contort, the, the puppet-like motions, it looks really low effort. It looks like sour ice cream. Oh god, yeah, like at least it doesn't look as bad as Chegger's Party Quiz. Did you ever see the cover of that game? Something about real people and Wii models that just don't look right. No. Bad baloney. Well, let's start a new game, I guess. Okay, I play the story. Each scene begins with Carly and her friends getting together and talking about what they're going to do for tonight's show. And like the TV series, you can expect that typical Nickelodeon sitcom writing. Where is your voice coming from? I'm inside the sculpture! Oh wow, it's all even fully voiced by the show's cast. Come out! I can't. I welded myself in. Good on them for really getting the feel of the show this way, but it still does feel like a rush job. We have this fully 3D environment right in front of us, but it's completely void of any characters. We instead see the characters in a text box, like they're texting each other, but like they're talking, so it's like a, a texting visual for talking and not texting. It's it's weird. All right, so the gameplay starts, and this th th what, what this is what this is WarioWare smooth moves. This is literally just WarioWare. You're you're presented a micro game quick instructions on how to hold the Wii Remote and what to do, you perform as well as you can and the next game pops in. Not exactly what I was expecting WarioWare? No, but yeah, it's weird, but I guess it makes sense. Makes sense. How, how, why, why does that make sense? Well, it makes sense. Like, they're given a game to make. That is what they do. Contract at work. And they're just handed this random TV show. They gotta make something out of it. So, I'm sure it was common to look around for inspiration and then, you know, just make whatever, right? I, I guess that makes sense. That also explains why the uh, Cory mini games ripped off Elite Beat Agents. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm sure they're like, oh, we need a rhythm game. Uh, what did Nintendo do for that on the DS? Oh, well, that, that looks easy enough. We can do that. But, you know, it just doesn't really hit that feel like the original ones. Head. No, it never does, but I mean, it's the iCarly Wii game. It's not like it's a passion project or nothing. They're not going to spend all this time needlessly polishing a turd, right? I guess the rapid micro gameplay does fit the show's concept decently enough. We're bouncing between all of these web videos, so, you know, each one can be a short micro game. You might be uh, flailing the Wii Remote around to dance, you might be aiming at the screen to swat away hands, try to steal the pie, you might spray people or control a trampoline to bounce them up in the air, all executed with a variety of different motions and poses on the Wii Remote. And yeah, it all works well enough. I didn't really have any control issues here. The aiming's responsive and the tilt controls do work fairly well. When it comes to completing these games, I never had any problems 
problems doing it. But while the games are functional, they're way too easy. This game is so forgiving, dude. Like, sometimes I would feel like I would do a really bad job and screw up a lot, and then the game's still like, yeah, not bad. Excellent. Just excellent. What's even the point of that? Like, in WarioWare, if you made a slip-up, you lost a life as you'd be launched forward into the next game. You had to be on your toes. Four strikes, and you're out. But here it's like, if you mess up, you just keep going. It just slightly decreases your score for that one micro game. So you can actually mess up a lot with little to no consequence at all. It totally strips the game of that zany challenge that made WarioWare so fun to begin with. Well, I guess I do try some things to try and make it more challenging, like uh, having this Neville character appear on screen. I, Carly, is rubbish. Throughout this game, this horribly evil gremlin child tries to hack into the show, deleting everyone's videos and generally trying to sabotage I, Carly. I, Neville Pepperman, shall make you rue the day! Who even is this kid? Like, honestly, his voice makes me want to punch him. I have no idea. I assume he's probably a villain on the show or something, like uh, like uh, Megan was on Drake and... Uh... Oh, hold on. I'm getting that. Hello? Yo, you guys talking about iCarly? Yo, Salty, what's up? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, uh, you did like some speedrun bullshit for this game, right? You, you gotta know about this show. Who the hell is Neville? He's this young internet critic who runs a website called Nevelocity.com. It's super popular in the iCarly universe, and he uses that to his advantage to mess with the iCarly gang. He first appeared in the sixth episode of the show and tried to blackmail Carly into being his girlfriend by threatening to bomb her web show with negative reviews. Ever since then, he's been a huge recurring rival to the main gang, trying to sabotage iCarly at any chance he gets. This dude sounds like a dick. Well, I guess that answers that. Neville popping up is a lot more annoying than it is challenging. He just like, kinda gets in the way and then shouts his iconic phrase from the hit television series. Soon all three shall rue the day they cross Neville Papperman. Rue the day. No, you'll rue the day. You'll rue the day! Rue the day! They really do say rue the day a whole frickin' lot in this game. The day you rued, ruing the day! Carly Shay rude the day, ruing! Is it really that funny? Did they really have to repeat it over and over this many times? You will rue, ruing the day you made Neville Papperman force you to rue. I don't know, maybe that's part of the joke and I'm just missing some sort of context here, but as it stood, I got really tired of hearing this kid's sickly hellion goblin voice shouting his over theatrical catchphrase non freaking stop. I rue this day! Shut the hell up! Please? Man, some of these micro games are really just nothing, dude. I mean, like, they're nothing. This one, you just press the A button. Like, that's it. You just press A. You don't even have to time it or anything like that. You can even just mash it as the game pops up and it'll give it to you at the earliest input. There is no realistic way to fail this one. Unless you tried to on purpose for some reason. And listen, yeah, I know. Like, some WarioWare games were also just pressing the A button. But those games required reflexes and timing, and you were able to fail them. This, on the other hand... This requires nothing. This one, you just shake the Wii remote to dance. How could you possibly screw that up? Oh, wait, no, sorry. They do get harder. Oh, yeah, yeah. They introduce harder versions of the micro games later on. Now you gotta stop shaking the Wii remote sometimes. <laughs> yeah, these harder versions aren't really all that much harder at all. Some of them can be a tad more challenging, I guess, yeah, but it really just amounts to a tiny, tiny spin on it or simply increasing the amount of things you had to deal with. Very unlike WarioWare that actually had multiple scenes for the different difficulties. There's really not very many of these games either, they just keep reusing them over and over, making minor changes to help them be more challenging. But it never really gets challenging at all. What are these web videos even supposed to be? Yeah, like a viral video of us shining flashlights at frogs, yeah, th that, that'll get a million views. Oh, oh, I got an idea, what about, uh, what about waking up Spencer? Yeah, yeah, the kids really want to see Spencer wake up. Oh, I am entertained by seeing a man get out of stop sleeping. This one's just an arcade machine where you shoot at the spaceships. Like, what is it supposed to be? Like a viral video of somebody getting a high score or something? I don't know. This whole game is pretty disjointed. The better you perform in each micro game, the more web cred you'll earn. And you can use that to buy more decorations for your set. And yeah, that's a pretty fun idea. I mean, like, I've used a lot of the money I've earned from YouTube to improve my show in any way I can. So yeah, building a set this way is a lot of fun. Yes, I want a cowboy skeleton. Oh, yes. I want a pineapple lamp. Yes, I want a gnome chef. Oh, dude, I gotta get this TV. Yo, it's got HD. 
and 1080p. Hey, I have to admit, it is pretty fun spending your points and uh, decorating your studio like this. It doesn't really do anything though, and I think it would have been cooler if you actually got to walk around the set that you made instead of it just being a backdrop to the menu. Once you're done the story, you'll unlock I Create Webisodes, where you can stitch together your own combo of micro games and change several modifiers about them, like uh, which characters show up, what the background looks like, what the music sounds like. You're essentially just swapping out different assets to make the micro game look and sound a little bit different, but it doesn't really affect the gameplay much at all. It is a fairly cool option, and the idea would work fairly well in a game like WarioWare, but they do so little with it here that it feels like a total afterthought. Okay, well, what else do we got here? Uh, you can unlock and read all these emails as you go through the game. It's all just, like, random nonsense. A lot of it didn't really mean much to me, but I'm sure it's something iCarly fans will get a decent kick out of. There's also a bunch of bonus videos featuring interviews and fun shenanigans with the cast of the show. It doesn't really seem like it has anything to do with the game at all. I, I honestly think they might have just copied and pasted one of the DVD's bonus content over. At least that's what it seems like. Also, they use a weird warping effect for when they cut up the clips and it just looks... Pause on it and it... <laughs> and all that's left is the multiplayer. If you want to play these games with friends for some reason, you can. Go knock yourself out. So, how about it, Brady? You want to play some two-player iCarly on the Wii with your good pal, me? No, man, I'm good. I... <laughs> I think I got the just watching you play. Uh, yeah, I really can't blame you, honestly. <laughs> so what's the what's the final verdict, huh? Uh, yeah, it's not horrible. It's not like downright offensive. It's playable, but I mean, it's not particularly fun or exciting either. It's just yeah, it's just a par for the course licensed game that happened to rip off WarioWare. So uh, another April done, another licensed video done. How about we make some food and make some funny videos while we're at? Hell yeah, it? dude, let's All go. Right, let's do it. We had a pole, and it was amazing. We had balloon fight. We had Mario Brothers. We had Pushmo on there. No one plays Pushmo, but the winner of the pole. You think you know what it is? This boy right here. Dukes of Hazards. That was my favorite game growing up. I can't wait to hear his take on it. This game sucks. <gasps> I just don't understand why he could do that to me. A pizza delivery. If I ever find him, I swear to God, I'm going to make him pay for saying things about my favorite childhood video game, Dukes of Hazard: The Revenge of King Smith. If I ever see him, I will see him. I'm going to call him... Hello? You better be watching your back or two right now because if I, find, if I find you right now... Well, personally, I didn't understand anything except you saying Dukes of Hazard was okay and quite frankly, you disagree with my opinion. But my opinion is nuclear and this game is doo-doo! So if you don't like me, I'll fight you. If you're gonna attack me, I'll punch you. You hurt me, I'm gonna hurt you. You swear at me, I'm gonna kill you. You understand? Hello? <gasps> there he is right there. I'm gonna wreck your crew, wreck your ass. Well, let me tell you right now, if you thought you could say anything bad about the Dukes of Hazard, the video game on Xbox, you better think again, because I'm here to destroy you, and we're going to fight right here, right now. Yeah, okay, let me pick my character first. With these nuclear skills, I'm gonna review your ass. Ready? Go! You were the 
fucked up this time, big boy. I mean, ooh, ooh, ooh. Episodes Mondays so at 6 30. Long beard, intense look, and such a big long build up in a snowstorm, just walking, intense shots, and then after all of that, Alpha Gettys. What? You know, the Granicore video, the, the one Mark came up with. Were you listening? Um, what? What are you doing there, bud? What are you up to, bud? What's going on there, bud? I, uh, doesn't matter, Buckaroo, because I got something new for you, and you're not gonna. Yeah, Carly game again. But we didn't, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, we did. Are we yeah, doing? But the... it's April Fools. I mean, games in my hand. We're doing it. We're playing it. We're reviewing it. Oh God, yeah, I, I guess we do have to do this, huh? Um, yeah, Blitz Blitz Games made this. Always nice running into a familiar face. Uh, yeah, Blitz Games is one of those studios that would be contracted to do a lot of licensed games back in the early 2000s. Uh, they're also the same studio that behind Glover, back when they were known as Interactive Studios before they changed their name in 2000. Oh, they also worked on Pac-Man World 3, which is pretty underrated in my humble opinion. Uh, a bit too much focus on pretty boring combat, but I love the world design in that game and the dialogue's pretty great too. I don't I don't want to be doomed. I just want to go home. They also did Swamp, Swampy's Revenge, and Zapper. What? Yeah, and then uh, tons and tons of licensed games. Towards the end of the studio's lifespan, they would shift more so towards mobile stuff instead, which I guess makes sense. But back before everybody had one of these guys in their pocket, uh, they were making tons and tons of companies no, uh, to produce licensed video games for all major platforms, including iCarly for the Wii. So first you're telling me that the makers of Dead by Daylight worked on the Drake and Josh game. Yeah, they did. And now you're telling me that the people that made Glover Made this thing? Um, so not exactly. It's the same studio, but way later. And with game companies, people come and go. So it's not necessarily yeah, it's not necessarily the same people who made uh, both games. So how many people worked on the Eric Carly game from Glover? Um, I cross-referenced the credits and I found two names. Uh, so while not everybody worked on it, I can confirm that two of the people that helped work on Glover did help bring this game to life in some capacity. That's cool. Well, let's check out this masterpiece. Uh, yeah, sure. Why don't we uh, check this out? Shh, shh, James, don't. You'll summon a thousand internet comedians. <laughs> Courtney Coach, what are you doing? Okay, I Carly for the Wii. Uh, now's probably a good time to mention, I don't know anything about this show. Like, hey, ask me anything about Teen Titans or Metabots and I'm gonna spew nonstop, but I Carly, I don't know. It kind of start, it kind of started airing right around when I stopped watching TV. Um, I know it's got Miranda Cosgrove, who was in Drake and Josh uh, playing the little sister Megan. And I guess she went on to star in a show of her own right after. Dude, literally the only thing I know about this show is, what's Brady thinking about? Hmm. Wait, why does that sound really familiar? Trust me, they'll get it. Get what? Well, anyway, uh, yeah, the show followed a group of friends that would produce a web show. I guess making the show pretty ahead of its time for 2007. Uh, this is something a lot of people ended up doing later down the road, myself included. Uh, I can't really speak for how accurately it represents web content, being so unfamiliar with this show, but uh, it is pretty interesting seeing the show explore that sort of idea so long before it uh, really took off in the way that we see now. Man, back when I was a kid, you had to, like, go on the dude's shitty website to see all the stuff he made, back before everything was just on YouTube, you know? Like, if I wanted funny clay videos, I couldn't find that on YouTube. I had to go to Knox'sCorner.com. I currently kind of seem to take place around like the tail end of that era, where like it was rather common to uh, still host your video content on multiple websites instead of just YouTube. 2007, the era of ScrewAttack.com, GameTrailers.com, and the Wii. Well, let's see if this thing even is. Like, what do you do for an iCarly game? Well, the menus look nice, uh, everything's pretty clean, yeah, it does a pretty good job of getting that web show vibe, and they do a pretty solid job of recreating the set for the show, too. Yeah, it looks alright. Ew, I can't say the same for the characters, though. Christ, are they ugly. Uh, they use these, like, gross 2D-ish rigs, grossly resembling the characters of the show. The resemblance is there, I guess, but, like, it's 
it's not good looking. Like the ones with the Drake and Josh game barely even look like Drake and Josh, but at least they didn't look like putrid ugly toilet dick. What really kills it for me though is the way they move, like the puppet-like motions, the way the limbs contort and bend, it looks really low effort. They look like sour ice cream. Yeah, they, t uh, they don't look good at all. Something about like real life people and Wii models, it just doesn't look good. No, it really doesn't. Bad baloney. Okay, uh, new game, I play the story. Each scene begins with Carly and her friends talking about what they're gonna do for that night's show. And uh, like the show, you can expect that typical Nickelodeon sitcom writing. Where's your voice coming from? I'm inside the sculpture! Oh yeah, they get the uh, whole cast to do the voices too. Come out! I can't. I welded myself in. Why'd he do that? So the first mini game pops in and this is, wow, this is WarioWare. This is literally WarioWare smooth moves. Like you're given instructions on what to do and hold a Wii remote. You perform as good as you can do and then the next game pops in. Can't say that's what I was expecting, a WarioWare game? Yeah, I mean, pretty random, but I guess it makes sense. Makes sense, How, what, what makes sense? Well, it makes sense, you know, like uh, they were given a game to make, you know, that's what they do is contract the work and they're just handed this TV show and they gotta make something out of it. They have to make, they have to make something out of it. They have to make something, they have to make something out of it. What? I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it explains those Cory in the House mini games being a rip off of Elite Beat Agents. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's like, uh, they're probably like, oh, we need a rhythm game. Uh, what did Nintendo do for that? Oh, we can do that, easy enough, yeah. Yeah, it just doesn't feel the same as the originals, though. Well, no, it's not like they came up with a core concept or nothing. They're not gonna understand why those things worked or care, even. It's like iCarly on the Wii. They're not really gonna bother getting it there. I guess ripping off Wario's dick does make enough sense for iCarly. I mean, like, we're bouncing between all these different web videos, right? So each one can just be a micro game. You might be going nuts on the Wii Remote to dance. You might be swatting away these the f hands with your fly swatter to not get the pie. You might, you might, uh, I, I don't, I don't even know what's happening. But you do it all with a variety of motions and poses on the Wii Remote. And yeah, it all works decently enough. I didn't really have any control issues here. The aiming is responsive and the tilt controls work fairly well. Uh, when it comes to completing the games, I didn't have any problems doing it. But while it can controls work, the games are all easy as dick. Like, you really can't fail these. Like, I would always feel like I did such a dog shit job, the game would be like, yeah, that's good. Excellent. Just excellent. What's even the point of that? Like, in WarioWare, if you lose, you lose a life, and you lose all four, and you're donezo. But here, it's like, if you mess up, you just keep going, and it slightly decreases your score and doesn't do anything. You can mess up so much with no consequence. It makes the game completely pointless. There's no challenge here at all. And all that zany, wacky challenge is what makes WarioWare fun to begin with. With. So instead of figuring out how to make the game challenging, they just throw this annoying Neville character on screen sometimes instead. I Carly is rubbish. Throughout the game, this snotty shitbag terror child tries to hack into the show and delete all your videos and ruin I Carly. I Neville Papperman shall make you rue the day. Who even is this kid? His voice makes me want to punch him. Yeah, like uh, I'm guessing he's the villain of the of the show. Like like Megan was the villain. Oh, hold on, I'm getting the. Hello? Yo, wait a sec, you guys talking about iCarly again? What do you mean again? Uh, yeah, you did this video not too long ago. You're doing like, the, the second Wii game now, right? Second game? There, we're, no, we're doing the first one. Uh, wait a sec, why are you doing the first one again? What do you mean again? Well, I guess that answers that. Guess that answers what? Brady, hello? Hello? Soon all three shall rue the day they cross Neville Papperman. Rue the day. No, you'll rue the day. You'll rue oh the day! Oh my god, why do they say that so much? They really say rue the day, this freaking. The day you rude, ruing the day! Spencer, please don't interrupt me. Um, I is it really that funny? Did they have to repeat it over and over this many times? You will rue, ruing the day you made Neville Papperman force you to rue. Yeah, how many times can we fit the same word in the same sentence? You're freaking hilarious, Neville. I rue! This day! Shut up. Some of these micro games are really nothing, dude. Like this one, you just press A. That's it. You press A. No timing or anything. You just you can just mash it and you'll win. And yeah, some WarioWare games were just pressing A, but at least there I got to like knock over a funny guy. I didn't have to like stare at dog shit. There's not even very many games at all. They just reuse them over and over and add like tiny little things to make them more challenging, but again, they never get challenging at all. The changes they make are practically negligible to the difficulty. I still don't get what these 
these web videos are even supposed to be. Like, you're, you're not telling me that a million people are going to tune in to watching flashlights on frogs. Flashlights on frogs! Riveting. Or should I say, <laughs> riveting. <laughs> Fuck. Wake up! Grab a bunch of put a little makeup! The better you do the games, the more web cred you'll get, which you can use to buy things for your set. Like a cowboy skeleton, or a pineapple lamp, or a really cool television. It does HD. <laughs> it does 1080p. <laughs> who wrote that? Once you complete the story, you unlock I Create Webisodes, where you can do your own mishmash of, uh, of uh, micro games and like slightly change the, the visuals. It's really pointless. Unless you really wanted to see another character go -er when you play a game instead of the one that's normally there. And over here we got emails, you can read all those. There's a lot of wacky, funny stuff you'll read that you unlock through the game, and what's left? Bonus videos. I swear to God, they probably just ripped these off of the latest season's DVD at the time. And then there's multiplayer. If you want to play these games with a buckaroo or two, that you can do. So, Brady, you want to play the uh, High Carly Wee game two player with your boy, me? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Uh, pretty much got the gist of it watching you play. Yeah, I, I really can't blame you for that. <laughs> So, uh, final verdict? Uh, yeah, it's not, like, horrible, it's not offensively terrible, it's, like, playable at least, but, uh, yeah, it's not particularly fun or exciting either, it's just, uh, it's just a par-for-the-course licensed game that happened to, uh, rip off WarioWare, I guess. So, another April, another licensed game, why don't we make some food and make some funny videos? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Don't need this anymore. Man, nothing beats getting out of prison. Cause I, while a Stinkleberg was in prison, now I'm playing Mega Man 2. Yeah. Like a man, I'm shooting, we're moving like a man. Oh, that's fine. If you can't if I can't beat you in the game, I'm gonna kill you in real life with Game Genie. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna find Woodman in this snow because he's gonna be brittle and cold and I'm gonna bring the heat. Cause I'm Wallace Stinkleberg and we doing this. Cause I'm Wallace Stinkleberg and I kill with guns. But not out of, for prison sentences, only Woodman. Woodman, uh, your days are numbered. Cause I'm Wallace Stinkleberg, and you got zero left! Man! Long beard, tent look, and got the big long build up, and the snowstorm just walking, intense shots, and then after all of that, Alpha Gettys. What? You know, the Granite Core video, the, the one Mark came up with. Were you listening? What, the, the one we already did? Uh, what are you doing there, bud? What, what are you up to, bud? Um... What's going on uh, there, bud? Uh... I... I sincerely do not know what I was doing last night, Brady. It doesn't matter, buckaroo, because I got something new for you, and you're not gonna... I don't know, Perfect Dark Zero? Yeah. Oh, that's a load off the shoulders. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Games in my hand, we're doing it, we're playing it, we're reviewing it. No, 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 fuck no, eh. Always nice running into a familiar face. Uh, yeah, Blitz Games is one of those studios that would be contracted to do lots of licensed games back in the early 2000s. But they're also the same studio behind Glover. Back when they were known as Interactive Studios, uh, before they changed their name in 2000. Uh, they also worked on Pac-Man World 3, which is a pretty underrated game in my humble opinion. Uh, a bit too much focus on boring combat, but hey, I love the world design in the game and the dialogue's pretty great too. I don't wanna be doomed. I just wanna go home. They also made Swampy's Revenge, totally solid Frogger game, uh, Zapper, a more original take on the Frogger formula, and of course, tons of licensed games. Towards the ends of the studio's lifespan, they would shift over to mobile stuff instead, which I guess makes sense. Apps are cheaper to make and more accessible to a consumer market, so they make a better choice for supplementary media these days. But back before everybody had one of these guys in their pocket, uh, they had a, they were making tons of, of uh, the games for, uh, Timmy Turner, and they made iCarly. All right, so first you tell me the makers of Dead by Daylight made the Drake and Josh games, and now you're telling me the people that made Glover also made this thing? Yeah.
How many people from Glover worked on iCarly? Two. All right then, well, let's check this masterpiece out. Okay. Shh, James, don't. Just summon a thousand internet comedians. <laughs> Big funny joke, hi, me. Am I losing my mind? Okay, iCarly on the Wii. Uh, I've never seen iCarly in my life. I, I I like Teen Titans and I like Metabots, but I've never watched iCarly, and I do not know why we're reviewing this game. Dude, literally the only thing I know about this show is... What's Brady thinking about? Hmm. Hmm. Trust me, they'll get it. What are you talking about? Well, anyway, uh, yeah, iCarly. It was about a bunch of friends that, like, filmed themselves doing shit and put it on the internet, I guess, and... <sighs> I do that now. The show followed two friends, Mandy and Sandra, as they made tacos in front of a flaming car. And spaghetti. But back when I was a kid, dude, you had to go on the shittiest websites ever, made by some dude in his basement, and you had to find like a funny clay video online, and that's what the internet was like when I was eight. iCarly takes place in the year 2972, where the internet has been replaced by 20 pulsating ball sacks. I mean, that's pretty much the state of the internet now, anyway. Junk data. Screw what? Screw attack and game trailers. And the Wii. Well, let's see what the game is. I don't know how to do that again. Well, I guess the menus look all right. Like they, uh, it looks looks yeah. The characters definitely don't look all right though. They look like they came out of a buffalo's bleeding anus. Anus. They look like sour ice cream. Well, I mean, it's like real people and Wii models. It just never looks good. Bad baloney. All right, new game. Every scene begins with Cindy and Mindy talking about poods on their shoe. I'm inside the sculpture! And I got the cast of the show. Come out! I can't. I welded myself in. Dipshit. And before you know it, you realize the game is just like WarioWare. This game is literally WarioWare. The game pops in like WarioWare. You play it like WarioWare. This is a game just like WarioWare. It's not what I was expecting. A WarioWare game? It's not what I was expecting either, Brady, but it's funny how things work out sometimes now, isn't it? Makes sense. How How does this make sense? Who said anything about anything making sense? Did I say anything about sense? Did I say anything about anything making sense, Brady? No, I didn't. What are you talking about? It makes sense. I mean, it explains the core in the house. Uh, the you... game's being a ripoff of the Elite Beat Agents. What are you talking about? What is happening? What is happening? Well, you know, it, it just doesn't really hit the feel like the original one I did. feel like I'm losing my goddamn mind. What are you talking about? I mean, it just doesn't really hit the feel Who like the Who are you talking to? Did. Makes sense. What are you talking? I am so confused. Like, th th this shit's still going, too. What do I do? Do I keep talking about this shit? It's like Carly. <laughs> what do you do in this game? You dance. You swat the hands of the pie. You gotta spray your friends with pesticide. Jump in the air on a trampoline. We remote. We, 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 we remote. Catch bullshit in a net. I don't know why this is shit we gotta get. Swat the hands, Taco Bell. Jump in the air and hit the bell. That's all you do in this game. Repeat the same shit. And it's all the same! If you mess up, that's okay! You'll win the game either way! Excellent. Just excellent. Can you really win if you can't even lose? Is that what winning is? I, Carly, is right. Not you again! Neville, the butthole dickhole asshole that comes to make you pissed off! I, I Neville. Neville Pepperman, will make you rue the day. Who even is this kid? Like, his voice makes me want to punch him. I really want to punch you, Brady. You know what? I just really want to sock you right in Hello? Are you there? You guys talking about iCarly again? No, dude, uh, something's wrong. I, I, I don't know. I'm starting to get really freaked out here, man. What do you mean? What's going on, dude? I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I've been doing the, the same thing over and over, and I don't know why. <laughs> what? Like, missing the toilet when you poop every time? LOL. No, dude, I'm serious. Seriously, like, I, 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 I really think that something is... Well, I guess that answers that. 
Wait, what? What am I? What am I back here? Soon all three shall rue the day they cross Neville Papperman. Rue the day. No, oh my you lord, this the shit again. You're rude the day. No. Rue the day. What, what happened to my phone call? Give me back my phone call, Brady. I need to find out. Are you rude? Shut the up, day. please. You will rue. You will rue the day, the day you made Neville Papperman to defend you to rue. rue. Shut up. I get it. Rue. 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 Kangaroo. I rue this day. Mm. What even is this part of the- we're talking about the difficulty here, I think, how the game's too easy. Yeah, there's flashlights on frogs. Wake up, Spencer. Cowboy skeleton, pineapple lamp, cool TV, 1080. Avalanche. When you beat iCarly, the game of the Wii, you unlock iCreate webisodes and you can do this shit. And then it's bonus- yes, bonus videos, uh, uh, DVD, um, multiplayer- multiplayer. You can play two players on the game. <sighs> So we're done. We're finally done this, okay? We're done the review and we never have to touch this again, right? No, I'm good. Uh, I pretty much got the gist of it when you were playing. Right, yeah, so we're done. We're never reviewing this game again. We're finally finished, okay? What was the final verdict? Final verdict? Final verdict is I'm never talking about this thing again. Final verdict is I'm gonna shove your ass in Freddy's locker if you ever even bring iCarly up to me in the rest of my life. All right, well, another April done, another licensed game done. How about we go make some food and make some funny videos? I'll do anything as long as it's not this. Okay? Sup, dude? Who are you? I'm you. James, they got in again. one Mark came up with. Were you listening? What are you doing, bud? What are you up to, bud? What's going on there, bud? This is like the fourth time I've looked at that pile of garbage and it still doesn't make any more sense to me. Doesn't matter, buckaroo, because I got something new for you. Are you even in there, and Brady? Like, gonna... am I even talking to a real human being right now? Yeah. Okay. So let's talk. We're doing it, we're playing it, we are reviewing it. No, why? This sucks, man. Blitz games, they don't even exist anymore. Who cares? They made Pac-Man 3, Swampy Frog Revenge. They did uh, Donald Duck Mobile Revenge, uh, Timmy Turner. 
revenge. Okay, there has to be a way out of here because I am not playing this thing again. So first you tell me that the makers of Dead by Daylight made the Drake and Josh games, and now you're telling me that the people that made Glover made this thing? There's gotta be like a cable or a switch or something. There's, yeah, I'm in a simulation, aren't I? That's so how many is. people from Glover worked on iCarly? No, no, it's a curse. I've played enough horror games to know a curse when I see one. Right on. Let's check out this masterpiece. No. No, it's gotta be like a, like a time loop or something. Cause like, why else would Salty remember just like I do? Yet you don't. Shh, shh. Yes, don't. the internet comedians. I know, Brady. Shut up. I remember a lot more than you know. <laughs> Big stupid. What thing. the fuck? All right, I am going to die. Dude, literally the only thing I know about this show is. What's Brady thinking about? Hmm. What even are you thinking about, Brady? Trust me, they'll get it. Yeah, okay. <sighs> iCarly's a show and a game, and it looks bad. It looks like sour ice cream. Yeah, but I mean, like, with real people and Wii models, it just looks so bad. Pat <laughs> Die! Just die! Please! Makes sense. No, it does not! I don't want to do this anymore. It's a, I make a new game, they talk about bullshit, and then they, it's a WarioWare game, and that's it. Bring me the next scene, please. Can't say that's what I was expecting. WarioWare? You listen here, you motherfucker. One more scene with us two together, and I get that phone call. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. Makes sense why that makes sense. And when I do, you listen here, and when I do... Yeah, I guess. This shit was all of that! How the hell are you gonna go from that right back to WarioWare? Are you gonna go from that shit right back to boom, boom, ba boom? No, 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 no. I'm getting that phone call, and then I'm gonna figure out how the hell to get out of here. Okay, okay, I just gotta go over the points again. I just gotta go over the points again. Okay, what did I say again? Uh, that the controls are fine, the game's too easy! Uh, Wii Remote. I'm sure that's good enough. Who even is this kid? His voice makes me wanna punch him. Okay, phone call in three, two, one. Yes. Okay, dude, I need you to listen, okay? I really need you to listen. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, seriously, what is going on? I have no idea. I, like, I, I'm trapped in a time loop or something, or maybe I'm cursed or I'm in a simulation. I don't know what's happening. I'm reviewing the same game over and over. Brady's not really Brady. Okay, He's just saying the okay, same phrases again and again. down, James. It's all right. You're serious. Yes, 100%. 100% serious. You know I wouldn't lie to you about doing a bit. Okay, okay. Well, I have an idea, actually. Uh, I don't know if it'll work, but... Yeah? Yeah? Well, I guess that answers that. No! Damn it, I'm so close! I'm seriously starting to think I'm never gonna get out of here. I have to go through all of that all over again just to get another phone call. And even then, I don't even know if he's gonna know how to get out of here. Oh, yeah. Flashlights on frogs, I create webisodes, bonus content, multiplayer. I have completely lost control of my life. No, I have completely lost control of my entire fabric of being. No, I pretty much got the gist of it watching you play. You can get the gist of my ass after I take a shit on your bed, Brady! <laughs> so the final verdict? The final verdict? Is that I'm really scared, Brady? I'm really scared. <laughs> you should be. What's up, James? What's, uh... What's up? What's up with uh, all this? What's, uh, what's up with that? Buddy. COVID, dude. What? Yeah. It's in the bees now. Shots in after all that. Alf. 
Alphagetti, I know Alphagetti. it's always Alphagetti. It's Alphagetti every time. What are you doing there, bud? What are you doing there, bud? What are you up to there, What do you got there, bud? What's going on there, bud? What's going on, bud? Whatever. That doesn't is. matter, Buckaroo, because I got something new for you. We're doing it. We're playing it. We're reviewing it. Oh my god, I did it! I did it! His weakness was iCarly the whole time! <laughs> hey, it's always nice seeing a familiar face. My boy Blitz Games, I knew they got my back. They're out here making the ultimate weapon, iCarly, helping me defeat Brady and getting out of here. But I mean, hey, I knew they could do it. You know, they're out here making Glover, working on Pac-Man and Frogger. These guys know what's up. And yeah, 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 I know they made a couple of mobile stuff and then they went under, but hey, it's okay. They made iCarly. It's all good. So first you're but no, the I killed that made Dead by so Daylight. I also just made you, you're dead. I killed you. I found your weakness. I found your weakness. And I destroyed you, and you this? have no reason to be here. This is literally happening to me for no reason at all. This is happening for no reason. Why is this going on? I really like. So, how many people from Glover worked on iCarly? Defeating the host of the nightmare doesn't wake me up. Great. Great. Cool. Uh, let's check this masterpiece out. You know what? No. We're not playing iCarly. We're gonna play Mushroom Men the Spore Wars. Because this is gonna be way more fun than iCarly. Oh, well, I guess I can't say I didn't see that coming. Okay, well, uh, plan B. Yep, that's plan B. We're not hitting start. You can't make me. Shit, it just goes to the game anyway. And it still looks like dog shit. It looks like sour ice cream. You know what? I'll show you a bad character design. Have you ever heard of- <laughs> Ten shots, then after all of that, Alpha Gettys. You know, the Granicore video, the one Mark came up with. Were you listening? It's not safe, it's not safe, it's not safe. What are you doing there, bud? What are you up to, bud? What's going on there, bud? Salty dude, what, what is- Alright, listen, calm down. I need you to grab your left ear lobe and pull it as hard as you can. My left ear lobe? What? Why? Listen! What? I'm taking you seriously, so I need you to take me seriously, okay? Yes, you're right, you're right. But okay. I, so I... Grab your left ear lobe and pull on it as hard as you can. Like, you're ripping it right off your head. What? I, I can't do that. I Just can't... do it! There isn't much time left! Okay, okay, I'll do it, okay? Hold on, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it right now, okay? Three, two, one. What is this? What am, what am I connected to? Why am I covered in blood? You wouldn't get in. What do you mean I wouldn't get in? Get in what? In the tub. Of course I wouldn't get in the tub. It's pretty, it is pretty clear to me now that this tub is something that can cause a human being a great deal of pain, Brady. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You know? Yeah, I got tons of people in here. I got, I got my uncle Tommy. Uh, he's been mowing the lawn over and over again for like God knows how long. He's so mad about it. He like. Oh my god, the other day he was like getting sunburned and he's just freaking out. He's like, I hate this, I got bees all over me. <laughs> and uh, I got my barber in here. He's been giving me a haircut over and over again. So that's that's funny. Brady. Facts. A little bit odd, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I can see where you're coming from. I understand that, but <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Why'd you have to be up to this thing? Why don't you go laugh at Uncle Tommy or your barber? I needed my funny revenge, bud. Revenge? What do you mean, revenge? What did I do? Bought that copy of Perfect Dark Zero. Took it right out of my hands. Oh my god, all of this because of that? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, 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 yeah, buddy,
two, two people <laughs> made Glover. <laughs> Only two yeah, people yeah, made yeah. Glover. Because one, two. I'm telling you just how I feel. So wake up my body from this nightmare. It's your time to leave. There's no chance for you to get there. And it's time to see the brighter side of every situation. Some things are meant to be so good. Good job, now you get to hear the fart at the end of the video. <laughs>